Hey guys, last day of seatbelts and suffering. I can't believe we made it to the last day. Um, I laugh because um, I have suffered a lot of trials in getting through this week of making these videos. Everything has gone wrong, but God has taught me so much through it that I can honestly say I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the trials um, because I've been learning a lot. So I pray you all can say that as well. Um, today is goal day, which is super exciting. Um, I have a funny story to tell you before um, uh, we do anything else. Um, there was um, a time... Um, when we were fishing in my grandpa's boat and it was me, it was my husband who we were either first married or we were engaged. I can't remember my sister and my cousin, and we were all in the boat, um, out fishing and the motor died, which it happened all the time, but we were quite a ways out. We were several miles out into the water. And so, um, uh, we're out there, we're in the water, and they're like, how are we going to get back? It's so far. We have this boat. We have no way to get back. Well, I was a swimmer, and my husband's like, we'll just tie Becky to the front of the boat, and she can swim us back. So he did. He, I put on a life jacket, and he tied a rope to the front of my life jacket, and I jumped in the water, and I swam the boat back. And, um, you know, we laugh about it now and we thought it was so funny. And I remember just being so exhausted and my husband squirting water in my face and be like, get back out there. You can do it. <laughs> and I'm gullible, um, and foolish, but, uh, we, you know, we laugh about it now. Um, and that's sometimes life. Sometimes we ride in the boat and sometimes we end up having to pull the boat because the motor's dead. Um, but I just want to encourage you guys. We need to be ready to swim, right? We need to make sure that we are in good spiritual shape. So when those troubles and those trials and those temptations and those tests come, we are ready um, to conquer and to um, to grow instead of to fall apart. Um, so we know suffering's coming. We're going to make three goals this weekend um, in order to help us suffer strong or suffer well. Um, use this weekend to apply what we've learned and work out your goals. My goals this week I want to list my trials, and beside each, I want to write a positive that God has been working as a result of each. Um, so not, you know, um, financially we're struggling, but, you know, God is so good. It's financially we're struggling, but because of our financial struggles, um, you know, we've learned to, um, you know, be better with money. So that would be a result of our trial. And that was just an example. Um, the second goal of mine is to write a note of gratitude and encouragement to each of my deep diver friends. I'm so grateful for them. And I want to take some time this weekend to thank them for all that they've done for me and encouraging me and helping me to suffer well. Uh, my third goal is to match and memorize one key Bible verse for each of my pillars of faith. When I feel that I'm being tested, I want to make sure that I have scripture and word to stand on in those tests. So write your own goals and share them on our Facebook feed. I would love to hear from you. Make sure to complete those goals before you move on to whatever we will be doing next week, which I'm sure will be crazy and fun. All right, let's pray. Thank you, Father, so much for this week of studying, for fellowship. Thank you for suffering which is how we grow. Thank you for giving us the strength to meet our goals. I confess that I cannot do this alone. I need you and you are enough for me. Um, I pray that you would just um, give us all that we need to experience post-traumatic growth and to keep our pillars of faith strong. I pray that you would also help us to encourage each other and to just be deep diver friends for one another. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, I cannot wait to hear how you've met your goals. I'll see you later.